Hi, it's Vanessa Vaughn, the Founder and Chief Resilience Officer of Asphalus Advisors. And I'm here today with another session of Crisis Corner Cafe. This time, we're gonna be talking about the retail apocalypse. So I'm excited because this is such a good opportunity for entrepreneurs, business owners, chief security officers, risk managers, anybody who is responsible for managing an operation for your profitability and for your reputation, you should be tuned in to today's episode. So thanks so much for joining us. I love beginning with the end in mind. And we've been hearing the headlines about this apocalypse rippling through the United States of America. And in 2019, there's already been more than 5,000 store closures announced. In March, in one day in March, over 1,100 closures were announced. That's huge. And that can send a lot of fear. Think about how many people work in a retail store. Think about the various customers in those markets. And then think about the unemployment rate and how that can typically spike up. That typically is pretty scary. So also what happened in 2019 is that 10 retailers have filed for bankruptcy or liquidation. So what's the impact of this apocalypse? Well, you have deserted malls, you have empty shopping centers, you have stores who are losing profits because they're having to deeply discount their products and their goods. And it really just leaves an eyesore in the communities that we live in. So, you know, when I think about, well, what could a retailer or what could a company or what could any other business learn from this apocalypse and what we're seeing in the United States? One of the things that I found as I did some research on this topic is that the companies who are thriving now actually adjusted their approach and their strategy 10 years ago. So just think about that. What's coming ahead that we may or may not see? And how can we adjust our approach and our strategy now to meet the demands of where business and where our consumers will be 10 years, 10 years from now? So, you know, some retailers would say, hey, you know, retailers are, are going out of business due to, to the Amazon effect and we're having to close our stores. But there's companies like Aldi, Burlington, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, TJX, Ross Stores, Hobby Lobby. These companies are actually expanding in this market. So then that takes you to the question, well, what are they doing that's allowing them to be able to expand? And what I found was interesting was that many of their shopping experiences is actually a treasure hunt and it cannot be replicated online. No matter how much we talk about the Amazon effect, there are just some things you cannot replicate in an online platform. So how can an organization remain competitive, especially a retailer in this type of market? Well, a few things that come to my mind are diversify how products are offered. Offer what you cannot get online. What's that secret sauce that your company has that cannot be duplicated online? What's that customer experience like that you can only get in your store? Understand the behaviors of your customer by utilizing technology. Similar to people who have an online or e-commerce platform, when a customer clicks or likes or shares, that tells them data about their prospective clients. Well, how can big box retailers do the same thing? How can you understand who your customer is or what they're looking for before they get in the store? Improve your margins, right? There's a huge challenge from a retail perspective about the supply chain and the many risks that, that exist within that. So how can we better enhance our margins to be more profitable? Personalize your marketing. Who are your customers? Who are you really speaking to? And how can you personalize your marketing strategy to get in front of those people? I often think about Netflix and Blockbuster. Blockbuster didn't go out of business because they started selling bad movies. Blockbuster went out of business because they got Netflix, right? Netflix saw where the world was going with technology and they innovated. They used disruptive innovation, design thinking, technology to innovate their way out of a problem, while Blockbuster didn't do that immediately. And that's what cost them their business. So that's often something that we use in our strategy at Asphalus Advisors is how, how can we leverage disruptive innovation and design thinking from a crisis management, business continuity, or enterprise security risk perspective. So keep that in mind. So my question to you is, what do you think? Has your favorite retailer closed? What can we do with these empty shopping centers? One thing that I thought about is, 
The United States of America in most states is having an affordable housing crisis. How can we rezone these facilities and leverage them for affordable housing? That could solve a lot of challenges. What can retailers do to better engage their employees? Or I've learned this through traveling overseas from an international perspective. Most international places have smaller box stores. So how can we leverage that model in the United States to better manage our risk? I cannot wait to see what you think about these questions. Again, my name is Vanessa Vaughn, the founder and chief resilience officer of Asphalus Advisors. Thanks for tuning in to Crisis Corner Cafe.